Today I'm going to show you how I made this kinetic typography animation in After Effects. First we're going to create our text. You can use any font you want, I'm using Dharma Gothic C for this. Then we're going to center the text. Press S for scale and then we'll scale up the text on the text layer. Now we need to create a line of the tunnel text so we can create an end the scroll of the text. We'll duplicate the text on the same layer. We'll leave two spaces for each piece of text. I'm duplicating the text 10 times. You can do less or more, it's up to you. But obviously it depends on the speed of the animation that you're going for. Once you've done this, we need to look into animating the text. We'll go to Effects, Distort, and then Warp. This effect will allow us to create a different perspective with the text. We'll use the Rise Warp style, and then we'll change the Warp Axis to Vertical. We'll change the Bend to 0. Horizontal Distortion will be 100, and then we'll leave the rest. Now it's just a case of animating the typography. On the text layer, we'll press P for position, and then we'll set a keyframe at the start. I'm looking at a good starting point for the text so we can create this as a loop. Let's go further down the timeline and create another keyframe and moving the text to the left. Once we've moved the text further down, then we'll look at the speed of the animation to see what it looks like. We also want to match the start frame to the end frame so it can be a continuous loop. Once the keyframes are in place, we can go to the second keyframe and press N so that finishes the timeline. And then we'll have our looping sequence from that. Now we want to copy and paste our composition that we made. And this one will be the right side of the animation. For this one, we just changed the warp settings. So the horizontal distortion will be minus 100 instead of 100. And then for the keyframes, we can just swap these around. Once we have those compositions, then we'll create another composition and this will be the main composition when we put the two sides of the animation together. We'll drag in the left wall composition. And then we'll set the anchor point of the composition to be on the left. This will make sure that when we scale down the composition, it will stay on the left and it won't go anywhere else. I'm then going to scale this composition down to 50%. Now we can duplicate the left wall composition that we have. And then we can hold down Alt or the Option key on the right wall. And then we can drag it to the left wall composition that we just duplicated. And then we can align this layer to the right so it will be on the right side.
For the scale of the compositions, we'll take off the constraint proportions and then we'll put the height of the scale to 111. This will make it so the text covers more of the frame. And then we'll just repeat that on the left side as well. And now we have the final animation and I hope you learned something from this as always. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in the future. I'm going to be upgrading my setup so I'm going to be able to record better tutorials and I'm also going to be doing some more live streaming that I used to be doing. So yeah, definitely look out for that. And also, I still want to bring back the Discord that I used to have. So feel free to join that as well. It would be good to create a small community where we can share our ideas and get feedback and just have a place where we can talk in general. But yeah, have a good day. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next video.